<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, you all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Last time we left off, we had some more free time where we actually spent it with Maki, uh, because we couldn't, I couldn't go out with Kaito. It's like, oh, he wasn't, he's still not feeling well. Something's up with him. And also some time with Miu, where she shared her secret, where she thinks she's an augmented human. Something like, like something from, like, Deus Ex or something. And then... We're starting to see, like, the... I don't know. I don't. I hate saying dictatorship, but, like... The student council is enforcing these rules and kind of taking away our freedom. So, for the better of everybody. So, uh, nobody can die. I just feel weird about that. Anyway, it's a new day. We're gonna go into the dining hall. See what happens. I think after this, we also have a scene with, uh... Kyo, I believe. The moment I entered a dining hall, I heard an angry shout fill the room. Don't screw around! Oh, qu quit messing around! Don't just do whatever you want! Huh? Hmm? But I have a Tua's blessing! That's right! Yeah, we have a Tua's blessing, and I'll throw out I'll throw any degenerate I'll throw any degenerate who won't shut up about it. Hmm. I know you claim to be the student counselor or some such, but this is going too far, yes? No. As we said before, this is all to end the killing game and keep the peace. Yeah. What? What's going on? Yeah, I kind of knew this was going to happen. Kind of like what Shuichi said before, even coming in here. There's most likely going to be a rift. And even, you can see here, like you, they even kind of show it visually where the student council is on one side and the people who may not really agree with it are all on the other. So, yeah. Actually, I don't understand why everyone's getting so mad. This is so the killing game won't happen, and we we'll have a peaceful life. Ugh. We'll have a peaceful life here. Hey, student council has spoken. This decision is for everyone's sake. The decision of student council. What does that mean? Is Kaito upset about it? Listen closely. We're doing this to eradicate the killing game and bring peace to the school. You want that too, don't you, Shuichi? Uh, don't bring me into this just yet. I don't know what the hell's going on. Hmm. The most important thing is peace in the academy. That's what we're working towards. This is for your guys' sake too, you know. Mm -hmm. Ugh, what? Are now? you defying the student council? Don't make me throw you, Shuichi. Fuck you, Atua! Don't just act on your own on your own without hearing our opinions, mainly mine. That's good job voicing your concerns, Miu. Got a minute? Go and stop Kaito. Yelling at each other uh, won't get yelling at each other won't get anything done. Oh man! Uh oh, trouble already! Well, I knew this was gonna happen. Listen. Reliance on a god is unavoidable, but dependence is problematic. Dependence is a trait of one with a corrupted mind. The one thing we can truly depend on is love. What? Men who say creepy things like that are worse than co-workers who won't stop talking to you. What was that all about? I should hear it from Kaito. Okay, finally we'll go to Angie, then Kaito. What? Why is everyone so upset? I've already been granted permission by Atua. Uh. Um, Kaito, what's wrong? What are you fighting about? Damn. These guys did something unbelievable. They blocked the manhole that leads to the underground. Huh? The manhole? Mm. You know, I was just thinking about that. I mean, because there was like that mini game that I never really went back to try out again. I don't even know if it was possible. But like the stupidly hard one, where we try escaping, going through it all to escape? Hmm. Gonta put heavy rocks on top of manhole, so no one can use it anymore. With my magic. I could have made it disappear with my magic, but I decided to let Gonta, Gonta handle it this time. Um. Why would you do that? Because. 
Because the manual is a reminder of our desire to leave this place. We don't want another tragedy to happen again, like what happened to Kaede. Listen up! You said it, Angie. We need to forget all about the underground tunnel and start fresh. Don't screw around! Damn it! She just does whatever she wants without even asking our opinion! Certainly. It certainly is important to hear everyone's opinion, but if we did, nothing would get done. You're right! That's why we just decided to obey the student council president. If it's Angie, then she'll make the right decision. She can hear a Tua after all. Man, she's a lost cause. Plain Janes like her are total rubes when it comes to cults. Thank you! Sumuki, thank you for your fantastic speech. I was truly moved by it. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for always supporting me. Atua smiled on you for your plain and simple service. I've been wondering, does Atua have red eyes and hair as black as night? Atua has whatever features you desire. A red-eyed, black-haired god. Ah, oh, what a cool god I have watching me. When can I meet him? I want to meet him as soon as possible. Atua exists beyond time itself. But I'm certain you will feel his presence very soon. Precious! Wow, okay, so she's completely gone now. So cool! Tua's just so cool! Clouds like these can be really annoying if you get if you get on their bad side. But, but... Why are you guys so mad over the manhole being covered? The truth is... Is it because you guys want to use it to escape? You still haven't given up on leaving here? You... You haven't given up? Uh -huh. You haven't given up? Huh? What the hell's wrong with you guys? See. The student council cannot ignore that. It seems we must tighten our control. Why? Tighten? Are you calling me loose? That reminds me. You were in a computer room past nighttime yesterday, weren't you, Miu? What? Eh? So what if I was? By the way. So was Maki. She didn't go back to her room until way past nighttime. Hey. Shuichi. You too, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. Huh? Jeez. This isn't good. If your life isn't disarray, your mind and body will be too. Cause Atua says so. Atua is right. We must forbid everyone but the student council from walking at night time. Huh? Oh my, so now they're imposing all the rules besides on their own. Okay, you know what? Animal Farm. That's what's reminding me of now. Man, I love, that book was pretty damn good. At least from what I remember reading it. So back in high school. So, you know, Stone Age. Um, I think we also watched the, there was an animated movie like back in like the 30s or 40s. Wasn't bad. Um, I think they made one like more like in the 80s or 90s or something. Didn't see that one. That was like like live action with like real animals and all that. Um, but yeah, Animal Farm. I feel like that's what's kind of going on here. What? Stop it! What? What do you mean? What I do and where I, where I do it is none of your fucking business. No. No. As long as everyone still wants to leave, that is not acceptable. Why is the student council exempt from your rules? That is blatantly unfair, yes? Uh... I'm not worried about the student council. They don't want to leave anymore. <laughs> That's right. Why would we want to need to go outside anyway? Here, we have food, clothing, shelter, wonderful friends, and best of all, a Tua. What? What else do you need? It's not good to be greedy, you know? <laughs> Everyone in the student council is so divine. Always messing around. Don't be stupid! Are you telling me to stay here and just do nothing? That's enough! Like hell I will! I mean, I haven't even gone to space yet! Are you all fighting? Uh, I don't think so. I think that maybe they're not actually fighting. That's right! Yeah, and even if they were fighting, it looks like a friendly one. What are you here for? We're busy right now. You we want you to get even closer with each other. So, we brought this. Oh. A flashback light? I see. It's part of our use of flashback light to restore a new memory and become better friends of t uh, by talking about it with each other plan. Yeah. Wow, I've suffered way too many blows that I had to remember a plan, uh, plan name that long. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see that. Ah. ah. Oh, no, she's not break it, isn't she? 
Suddenly, Angie grabbed a flashback light from her hand from his hands and Saw that one coming. She threw it on the ground and stomped on it relentlessly. The student council has decided that we will not use flashback lights anymore. What? Why? Because the flashback lights only restore our memories of the outside world. But we don't need those memories anymore. We realize now that we don't belong in the outside world. We belong here. At the Ultimate Academy. Yeah, I really don't like Angie. Oh no! If you don't use a flashback light, our plan is a bust! What are we gonna do, Monodam? Ah. Hey! He ran away! Oh. Hey, Monodam! Wait! So long! By Anara! Wait! Angie, what are you doing? Oh dear. We could have remembered something about the funeral or the ultimate hunt. That's not right! There's no oh, excuse me to have in my voice there. There's no reason to remember all that. We're not returning to the outside world. Right! Yeah. It pointless now. Always messing around. Why you you've gone way too far! Even if you want to stop the killing game, you're going way too far! But you should have taken it up with Atua. Oh, man. Jeez, I don't think you're sorry at all. So, do you have a plan for the, you know what? Ah. You mean the resurrection ritual? Oh, we have a plan for that. What? What? I knew it. What are you planning? Because. Just a necessary precaution. The more friends we have, the more fulfilling our lives will be. Huh? A necessary precaution? Uh. Um, what if we get another time limit motive? Like the one that Rantaro killed. Oh, yeah. That got him killed. Shouldn't we have a sacrifice prepared just in case? Uh, um. You mean, if someone has to die, we should volunteer someone we resurrected? What is it? You're gonna resurrect someone just to kill them all over again? <laughs> you have such cruel plans for someone who wants to stop the killing game. Uh. Life can't always be fun and smiles. Atua must make difficult, even cruel decisions. We must submit to Atua's will if we're, if, we're, if we're to live a peaceful school life. Yes. Atua's will is absolute. Yeah. If Atua says so, then there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, nah. It's just like Atua says. Wh what? Are you serious about this? Did you forget that thing's a motive for the killing game? Kaito, what's wrong with you? You're looking worse and worse. Yup, yup. That motive is of no concern to us, as long as you ca cast aside your desire to escape. Well, you know. By the way, who are you going to resurrect? What? What kind of stupid question is that? Uh... Hmm. After discussing the matter of Atua, the transfer student we will revive is... Because Atua says... Rantaro Amami. Huh? Rantaro? Because... Well, we simply cannot resurrect convicted murderers such as Keide and Kirumi, no criminals like Ryoma, who violated his rule against sharing one's motive video. Which leaves Rantaro as the one who'd be of use to the student council. Well, true. Rantaro was the only one who knew about the ultimate hunt. You're going to bring him back? I forgot his voice. Like, how I got, like... Uh... Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but does the term Ultimate Hunt ring a bell for anyone? No. No, this is impossible. It's not going to happen. He's dead. Kade killed him. Dear, dear. Oh my, it's already so late. I need to get going now. Prayer time. I must pray to Atua and begin preparations for the ritual. Nah, you're right. It's time to pray to, pray to handsome Atua. Well, well then, let's go. <laughs> Bye, Anara. With Angie leading them, the student council stroll out of the room. What is it? She acts like she's carrying out Atua's will, but that this is her will, isn't it? 
however... Even so, we cannot defy her right now. Extreme faith is frightening indeed. Then hey. it's all it's an all-out war against the student council. Six versus six. We can win this! <laughs> also, we have the assassin on our side. Let's have her kill them nice and quick. No. Uh, no. We have to resolve this peacefully. I see. Well, sure, that'd be great, but I don't hear anyone coming up with a plan to end this peacefully. By the way. What about you, Kaito? You've been quiet this whole time. I bet you have some great ideas. Oh, well, he's... That's a new one, I think. He doesn't look right at all there. Huh? You say something? Uh-oh! Someone was zoning out! Uh, Kaito... Something doesn't seem right. It's like he's nervous about something. Is he nervous about this whole resurrection thing? Why would he be? Or is he worried about Rant? Oh, maybe Rant. Maybe he knows, or maybe he knew that Rantaro knew something about him. That has to be it. He's hmm. man. Oh man. Okay. I'm down to resurrect the dead if you're if they're just gonna be sacrificed after coming back anyway. Doesn't matter if they die once, twice, or a hundred times. As long as they're dying instead of me, their death isn't going to waste. What? Why are you glaring at me? You should wait for your balls to drop before you try to side-eye me. Well, Do you think there's a way to get both sides to understand each other? Huh? What? Hey. You said it earlier, right? No. I... I don't know right now. But I know that nothing will be resolved talking like this. What's the point? I don't think the student council members will change their minds. That's... True, but then... there are two sides to this. Why don't we just remove one of them? Huh? What? Oh. Maki! Angie! That's wrong! No! We can't do that! Removing them won't resolve anything! So what? I know that already. It's just an option in the world I'm from. Just think about it. That's all. Maki. And why would she even bring that up? I mean, she knows that it would start an investigation and a trial and... Bada bing, bada boom, right? Ah. Oh, yeah. If we want to start a war against the student council, we should wait until after resurrection ritual. Uh, um, Kokichi, you want to go along with this motive? Because... Because it sounds so fun! Don't you want to see the resurrection ritual too? Ah. Oh, but Angie wants to make Rantaro the transfer student, huh? Mm. I don't want him to come back to life. Huh? Why? Well, you know. It's cause... Well, I love you, Moshuichi. I'm always thinking about you. And you'd rather see Kaede brought back to life, huh? Huh? That's... Yeah. You're so admirable. That's why I want to support you. It's a lie. Oh, wait. That's a lie. Well, you know. Come to think of it, I once saw this anime that was also about a death game. The mastermind sacrificed a family member as his first victim to get the killing started. Huh? Sacrificed a family member? As in, kill them? Ah. Yeah, as a show of force. Maybe that's what happened to Rantaro. What if Rantaro is working for the mastermind? Bringing him back to might be a bad idea. No. No, that's idiotic. Rantaro couldn't have been working for the mastermind. But is it really impossible? We only knew Rantaro for a short time. He did seem as though he was a kind of a use to the killing game. <laughs> Looks like you're starting to understand what I'm getting at, Shuichi. Well, no matter what we say, Angie's probably dead set on the, who the transfer student will be. Right? If he comes back to life, then that's that. Nothing we can do except look forward to it. Hmm. I, actually, if anybody knows what anime is talking about, please let me know. Because now I'm interested. Listen. No one can go against Angie at, at the moment. But what's even more worrying, her followers may begin acting on their own will using her name as an excuse. Okay. That's one way of looking at it. What was that? Huh? Are resting bitch face and creep show starting to feel symp sympathetic now? I, I mean, I understand what you're trying to say. Slugs. But that nun nuts Kaito isn't following along at all. Explain it for him. Uh, uh, um... Kaito? Uh, he's still zoning out. 
It seems like it. He didn't even respond to me with teasing him. Well, you know. Well, let's just put that aside. Put, let's put that pathetic mess aside for now. Just explain everything for this stupid bitch lady and her cow tits. <laughs> he insulted me. Such a situation is common among groups of absolute leaders. To gain the favor of their leader, or to sacrifice themselves to their faith. The followers begin to take more radical actions. Which means... They might crack down on us to make Angie's rule more comfortable. Huh? Huh? Rule over us? What? That might be become a problem down the line. Well, well I doubt they, they start with that. But it's only a matter of time. Um, Kaito, what's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Oh, it, it's nothing. I just feel a chill is all. If I rub some spit on it, I'll it'll feel better. What? Rub spit on what exactly? Yeah. Anyway, there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. There's no way. It's just not possible. Yeah. Damn it. No, I can't stop these chills. Huh? Huh? My bad. Sorry, guys. My bad. I, I'm gonna go back to my room. Kaito left on, left on unsteady feet to go back to his room. What is it? What was that all about? Is he getting sick? Hmm. We were just talking about all that occult stuff. Maybe he's possessed. <laughs> I'm starting to worry about that guy. Hmm. He seemed to be enjoying this. It's Kokichi. Why wouldn't he be? The rest of us left the dining hall and went back to our rooms. I was scared the game froze on me for a second. Angie told us to give up, but I have no intention of doing so. My goal is the same as K.A. Day's. Get out of here with everyone. And that means I need to do something. Odd. How come we don't have that scene with, uh... With, um... Keo? Maybe it'll happen later. Okay, so I know this is probably not going to work, but let's... She's back in the computer room. I'm going to try hanging out with Kaito. I have a feeling I already know the... I already know the uh, outcome of it, but... Let's see if we can do that, and then we'll see if we hang out with Miyu again, because we're so close to leveling our leveling 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 all that up. Shuichi, sorry, man. If these chills won't stop. I gotta rest. See ya. Is Kaito okay? Far from it, from from what it looks like. I'm also tempted to go see Maki, but because I'm so close to Miu's thing, why the hell not? Yeah, maybe after this, maybe like the uh, Kyo scene comes up maybe afterwards? I don't know. <laughs> this computer is pretty awesome! No matter what I do, it always responds very sensitively. Uh, we, it's safe to ask. What was that? Ugh, fuck that. I get way, I, I, I get way out of, ugh. I get way more out of spending time with this computer more than you. If you want to be useful, bring me some food. I haven't eaten since this morning. I brought me some food got, and I got to spend time with her as a reward. And the present, um... You know, I'm afraid we give something one after another. Uh, I feel that might not work, so let's try Let's go back to this one. What was that? Oh, it looks like she's happy. What? I wanted this so bad. Ah! Not bad, Perma Virgin. When are you planning to slip off some... Whoa. When are you planning to slip some fliff between these big old titties? All right. Well, if you're tugging it to me every day, I guess I can, I can let that slide. God, Miu is so insane. 
I was worried about Miu and her augmented story, so I went to talk to her. She seems down. She must be thinking hard about something. Uh, um, um, Miu? What? what? Don't talk down because... to me. No, I'm worried about uh -huh. you. W worried? You're worried about me? Her voice cracked. I, I don't know. I'm fine. I'm not that upset. Remember. But you were talking about being augmented before. Um. So what? Even if I am human, it's not your okay. problem. I suppose you're right. Well, to me, you're still Mew. Why? How can you say hmm. that? Mew? Your face is red. Something wrong? <gasps> Nothing's wrong? Boy, is it hot? Aren't you hot? I'm hot. I guess I gotta take off my clothes now. Isn't that right? Okay, off we go. What? Wait! My way. Hmm. I'm letting it all hang Wait. out. Stop! What? Then you take it off. Take off your clothes. Huh? Why? Ah! Come on, just whip it off already. Jerk it to my perfect proportions. No. What are you talking about? Hey, hands off! <laughs> oh, Lord. Hmm. Mew, what's wrong? I doubt she's sick. Are you worried about something? Um. Are you worried about something? Huh? Shuichi, you blockhead, what does a genius like me need to worry about? What? Would it be weird if I was worried, no. though? It wouldn't be w weird at all, Mew. Even geniuses are worried about things. Um. But it's just heartache. Huh? What? Uh. I, I mean, what I mean was... Uh, mm. A heartache? I see, so that's what's wrong. Uh. Yeah, falling for huh? you. What? Me? Uh. You said it first. You're so worried about me because you're in love with no. me. I never said that. You didn't? Okay. No, I didn't. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, it's like a, some, you know, misunderstood anime right now. Mew's face somehow got even redder and she ran off wailing. Did Mew just confess her love to me? I mean, woo! Mew is long gone. I returned to my room, dumbfounded. What should I say when I when I see her again? I don't know, but I'm excited. Actually, oh man, can I have free time again? Yeah. Okay, I usually don't do this, but. I'm gonna see if I can talk with her again. And maybe I can fin finish up her um, finish up her story and that'll be cool, right? So let's do that. And then I'll call it an episode. Where's her thing? Did I miss it? Oh. What? Man, Shuichi, you're looking even more pent up than usual. Yes, do it, do it, do it. What? Hey, are you really that pent up? Because I'm not that easy, you know. Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? I spent some time with you, but you seem oddly distant. So I might end up growing closer. Yep. And we'll give her more of those machine part things, because I know she'll like that. I think she said that before. Slugs. Yeah, she said it before. Still thinking about Miu's confession, I couldn't come up with a plan. <laughs> hey, Shuichi, why the sad, miserable face? I guess I was the only one to worry about it. <laughs> See, you look so bummed out. I got you a uh, present. Um, Is it another invention? <laughs> huh, what a crazy idea. I almost feel sorry for you. Out of my way. I, Miu Iruma, will show you just how versatile I really am. So here, take <laughs> this. Is this a pie? Sure. Yep, it's an apple pie. I baked it from scratch myself. I didn't think she would bring me a pie. It looks really professional. You must be a pretty good cook. Impressed, I inspected the pie. That's when I found... Uh, um, um, Mew? Is this... a hair? <laughs> Don't 
worry. I I added some hidden ingredients. Wait. Don't worry. I'm gonna have worry about hair in my food. <laughs> oh. Please forgive but me. I just want the person I like to eat me. Oh. I, I made more too. Cookies with my fingernails. Chocolates with my blood. Well, at the very least, it means that her confession was genuine. But she's uh coming on a little strong. Uh oh. She's staring at me. She wants me to uh, eat it. Um, uh, um, I'm really honored that you made this for me, but I'm concerned about the hygiene. And there are no hospitals around here, so we have to be careful. <laughs> you got a lot of balls to lecture me. But you know, even a genius like me should be more careful with stuff I make. Um, if anything happened to you, I might go crazy. <laughs> if that happened, the world would never recover, right? Isn't that right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, I'll just have to ha make you. I have to make you something else. What? Ah! The time has finally come to use this. Mew whipped out the ray gun from her. Time to go, Commando. She took aim and then, ah, uh, a piece of fabric suddenly materialized in my hand. If I remember correctly, I think I know what this is. <laughs> what do you think of that, Shuichi? Can you feel my residual heat? Yes. Yes, I can. Uh oh, oh, it's the panda gun, isn't it? Oh, she teleported. Oh, you get it now. You've earned the right to date huh? me. I what? When we get out of here, you're gonna we're we're gonna go on a date with me. Got it? I've already decided. Huh? It is. <laughs> da doy. If you go on a date with me, I'll just explode with excitement. If you turn me down, the world will never recover. Understand? You're the only guy in the world who's ever made me feel this good. So you better take responsibility for what you've done. <laughs> this is how Mew expresses her feelings, I see. Okay. All right, I understand. <laughs> it's a date, you promised. Better not forget. <laughs> Mew smiled, but in return it was something more akin to a grimace. At the same time, she's showing me a lot of affection. I'm happy that I was able to make this kind of connection with Mew. I'm a little... Uh, no. Very nervous about this. But still. I'm sure it'll be okay. We'll get out of here. Together. We did it! Our friendship has deepened and we got Bond True Bond. Which, uh, can we figure out what that is? Oh yeah, right away. Achieve the highest level bond of somebody. Cool! I learned a new skill, Triple X Ray Goggles. Well, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Mew's gonna be our special someone. It looks like we are gonna be getting some maintenance later on, huh? I didn't spend some time listening to Mew's delusional date ideas. And we got our undergarments. That's wonderful. Hmm. Nighttime, I suppose, right now, huh? I didn't really I didn't realize that there were also dolls in the bottom there. The thing, the text kind of uh, hides it away. Anyway, I suppose it's nighttime. Angie established a curfew at nighttime. I wonder. I wonder what will happen to Trini. That's true. Uh, I should go see what Kaito has to say about this. I'm worried about him. We're gonna do that in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. And pro for me, the next recording session too. It's very late to where I'm at, and I gotta relax and eat dinner. So hopefully, you all enjoyed this so far. I'm very intrigued how this is how this is coming along there's many possibilities of what may happen like at first i thought it was going to be easy route to say oh somebody's going to be afraid of maki because she's the ultimate assassin but now this whole ultimate student council group is posing a really big threat so there's many possibilities that may happen and i guess we're going to find out and see what happens i'm thinking this, this is the third free time event that we had so once again, it's very possible that the next episode will have something bad happen, but 
we'll see. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time for Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Love you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe for future content, where I aim to release a video a day. And if you do subscribe, make sure to click on the bell symbol to be notified once new videos are uploaded. You can also catch me streaming from time to time on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to relax with other gamers. All this information is in the description box below. Have a great day.